Kagem was feeling it. IQ Season 4, Episode 11. Yeah, this grid visualization. Such a nice sequence. And they know it too. <laughs> they can feel it. I'm back. <laughs> so badass. These announcers etching out the usual characters, the alumni who commentate. Well, if you don't know, you better find out. Tell me we're winning this game without telling me we're winning this game. <laughs> we're definitely going to run into some fellow players from the camps. That's going to be true for Kagama. It's probably also going to be true for Hinata, who just saw him as the ball boy. Kagama is scary, though. It just feels like the sky's the limit with him. The more he sheds his emotional issues, the more he devotes 100% of his resources towards playing, the better he just seems to get without stopping. Which is going to be true in general for people, all players. But Kagama has the gift, so you get this feeling like he'll never stop getting better. You could say he's going to the top. Episode 11, A Chance to Connect. Interesting. This is their role now, <laughs> consulting crying people. Yeah, he does that. His face and demeanor just does all the trash talking for itself. <laughs> Glad he's on our side. No, no, no. Sure, it's because of the gelatin. Sponsored by gelatin. I certainly want to eat gelatin. Wow. Wow. Or is it sudden death? Yeah, they do that too. This is how they play. This is raises their games. Oh yeah, Kagayama episode incoming. Nah, I feel it too. <laughs> okay, Kai knows. You can feel it too. Similar advice to what we saw last episode. Similar sentiment. Just do what you can. Please put up a fight. I actually don't. <laughs> don't. Coach seems nice too. I love how that's something people know. That's so great. That's what a testament to Ushiwaka too. Like one guy blocks him and that guy's famous. Asuka's getting going. Turned on his brain. At least his placement was there. All tied up. <laughs> right? <laughs> he always gets those crazy fluke shots. It's one of those things where, like, the luck is a skill. He saw the dink. And that doesn't get dinked on. <laughs> oh, he was there. I like the hair though. We're flashing back a lot to past Carson days. Wow, imagine being moved midpoint. Nice to see. Are you jealous? <laughs> Ouch. They're noticing his improvement. 
It worked a lot on placement. But he didn't really get to practice putting his hands in front of the ball in the meantime. He's like learning in real time. None of that was there though. Focusing on, on Hinata's overall improved game too. They're panicking a little bit. They're panicking. <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> He's generous, willing to share his techniques. Could've just said nothing. Let him do his thing. He's the next one. He's the next one for an arc. I don't know if that's... Uh, this is... I, I don't know. It feels weird. It feels weird. What's going on? We worked on surf so... Well, I guess he didn't. He was at camp. I think that's a good sign. Oh, they got a wild card. Speaking of panic. <laughs> yeah, looks can be deceiving though. What is this? What is it bowling? I don't like this because I don't understand it. I didn't know you could do that. I'm just imagining it now though, I bet you could get a really good spin on it. Like an underhand ping pong serve. Or not. You got a really good really good spin right into his teammate's head. Thanks for coming. We appreciate the point. Yeah, we've been there. It's alright. Too bad there was no way to practice here. That would have gone such a long way. That was fast. I want to see what happens when it actually goes over the net. Answer yourself. It's totally a solo effort in, in your control. It's all you. Huh? I bet it has a mean downspin, but he's still serving into the light. Watch it spin off his hands. There it is. I don't play volleyball, but I, I know ping pong. <laughs> That's tough to adjust to. You gotta like counter, counter spin it somehow with your hands. It's interesting using the environment to his advantage. Nada just loves volleyball so much. Oh no, but he's never- he, he never- Okay. Only Daichi knows, and now Asahi. Almost no one's gonna get that on their first try. You gotta talk about it. Talk it out. They'll adjust. Leave it to Nishinoya to get it on, their first, on his first try. Goodbye. <laughs> yes, it is. Also, it's Karsuno. They always make it look cool. This poor team has just felt like they're on their back foot the entire time. It seems like the most tangible point is what they're focusing on. How much they focus on the panic itself and the failure itself as opposed to what they're doing, what their strategy is. I mean, you even see Asahi telling himself exactly how he's going to serve. They're all doing that. It's also been really fun to watch Kagama's more assertive nature at play in a game. <laughs> Got dinked, unfortunately. <laughs> Wirishima. Focus! Wow, 
Daichi just scored with one knuckle. Very different perspectives based on their history. Kageyama's always had a big playing field. It's gotta hurt. What a mixed bag of emotions. Seeing your team succeed but not being there to participate. <laughs> that was beautiful. We just won, right? That's it? That, they made it seem like easy work. That's really encouraging to win the first round so convincingly. Because you, you think that all of the teams are going to be great or have something special to them. Or maybe we, <laughs> Carson was just in an extra strong league, which actually that makes sense given the fact they were playing against Shir Toizawa. It, it seems unlikely statistically, but it actually is possible that Carson is the best team here. Just the way grouping is going to happen. You could have the three best teams in the same pre-national division. Sometimes the, the championship is decided by whoever wins a certain conference. You never know. That being said, I expect some firm competition going forward, probably with people we already know. Painful for the former Karasuno teammate though. It's a relatable feeling like quitting something and then the time you didn't want to commit to the thing passing anyway and then you realize maybe if you see someone doing really well at it that you could have gotten there had you started then. But it's not just a sad moment even though it's seen through his eyes so it feels kind of upsetting. The contrast is the glory for the third years who stuck it out who believed this is their reward. Aside from that one thing these two episodes showed pretty convincingly is that their time apart was a great thing. You're seeing serving improved, you're seeing Hinata improved, you're seeing Kagayama improved and they adjusted to playing together pretty quickly so that wasn't really an issue at all. I'm also getting a feeling like there's going to be a lot of third year exp exploration in this arc, which would make sense given the stakes for them and the fact that this could be their final game. Every game could be their final game. Mm -hmm.